you know, it's an opportunity that just fell into my lap, actually. Um, I, I wasn't like pursuing coming on the show or anything. One of my friends actually was going to the audition and she didn't want to go alone, so she asked me to go and it just all kind of happened after that. So, so she did not get on, I take it. No, no, she didn't, but I still talked to her the whole time, so it's fine. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is this your first time in Chicago? It is my first time in Chicago. Okay, well, what's your impression? What are some things you like doing while you were here? It, it's beautiful. It's like I've never been to a big city with like a skyline and all that, so it was amazing to soak that all up. And like we did a lot of, like we went to a lot of the, like we went to the Millennium Park mm -hmm. and we did the kayaking on the lake around the city and stuff. And, or the river. The river, yeah. Yeah, the river. Uh -huh. <laughs> we did that and we like rock climbed and I don't know, we, we saw a lot. Okay. And just the architecture in itself, like how you can have like an old building right next to a very urban building. It was, it's just so neat to be able to see all of that. It was, it was beautiful. How do people react to you? Sometimes it's not always great when you're out there filming. Not everybody's a big fan of the show. What's an example of maybe a, an instance that didn't go so well? Um, you know, I didn't really experience anything bad out here. I'm, I'm a really, I'm kind of overly nice sometimes. But that's just because I'm, I'm a really sweet person, gen like genuinely. And so I didn't really experience anything like that. Everybody was openly arm welcoming me, or open welcoming me with open arms. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So it was nice. It was. It reminded me of back home because people back home are so friendly back home in Texas. Yeah. So for the most part, people were friendly out here. And like I worked at Vincenzo's, and everybody there was incredible. I got I made like a lot of close relationships out there that I'll still be in contact with after this. Were you a waitress or a hostess? Yeah, I was a waitress. waitress. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I read quickly on your your skeleton seems to be past drug use. Yes. Right. So you used to. Were you? Would you say you were addicted to heroin before? Or you I was. Yes, I was addicted to heroin. Okay. And how long ago was that? Um, I've been sober for about two years now. Okay. All right. Did you know that they were? Who, who was your skeleton? Like somebody who introduced you to that drug, or? Um, no. It was just people that I had to make amends with. Okay. All right. Because you did things while you were on the drug? Yes, okay. I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of, but it's okay because it made me who I am and it made me such a better person overcoming all of that. And it's, it just made me, it was big self-reflection out here for me. Uh -huh. And that's all I wanted to do coming out here, was yeah. to try to help other people that are going through a rough time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe bring hope to that situation for other people. Uh -huh. but had, so you had no idea these people were coming? I had no idea. I thought this was going to be an original, real world series, and I don't know, I was, I was just so excited for the opportunity and to be able to have this in my life in this moment. So I wasn't even thinking about the bad things that might possibly happen. Not necessarily bad things, yeah. but just things that are thrown at you sometimes. So. Yeah. Is there anything that you wish you didn't say or do on the show that you're thinking now, like, oh God, I hope they don't air that, or I wish I could take that back? Absolutely not. I don't regret anything I did out here. It was all, it was an amazing experience. I'm leaving with people I genuinely care about, and I couldn't have asked for it to go any better. It just was very natural for all of us, so it was amazing.